Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're gonna try on some neutral knit dresses, one top, and then a really pretty, my favorite set I wore yesterday. It is a neutral top and skirt set. Now these items are really good for like transitioning into spring. A lot of these I think are good layering pieces. And like I said, I've been wearing each one since last week so that I could tell you how they wear, how they feel, and the sizing. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is this dress from L'Academy. I did get the medium. I do think in most of these, I could have worn a small. So I would say go with your true size. I am always so afraid something's gonna to be too tight. I think that is just in my head. But most of these I think would probably have fit better in a small, but this still worked. I still loved it. It is gorgeous. It is full length to the floor. You can either wear it with like flip flops and it's gonna pull on the floor, which that is a look, whether, whether we like it or not, it is. And then you can, of course you can have it taken up. That's what most people do, is have it just altered to how they like it because this is kind of like a special occasion dress. I think you can wear it with a pair of wedges or flip flops. You can go very casual with it, but I just want you to look how pretty it is, how intricate that little lacy design is. And it is not see-through whatsoever. Like, I think you could wear a black bra under this and it would not be seen. And that is really valuable. It fit really well everywhere. And I think this will look really good too with like your platform wedge sandals. Just beautiful. I know we have some special occasions coming up like bridal showers, baby showers, graduations, things like that. But this is the kind of dress I just like to wear to a, just like a get together with friends or I'm thinking about going over to like the clubhouse at the pool and just putting your flip flops on, being able to sit around and you look so pretty, but you feel so comfortable. I think that's part of the appeal to like the knit dresses. I know I, when I went to homecoming, my mom got me a knit set and I loved it. Very comfortable, very figure flattering, but yet not see-through or anything else. Okay, now let's talk about the dress that I have on, which I think would fit so much better in a small, but I still love it. And I think it would look good with a belt too. Today, I kind of wanted to feature it with this blazer from Veronica Beard. I know a lot of you got this blazer and you love it. Her blazers are just like really nice. When you put them on, they just fit so nicely. I'll put all of my sizes down below. And then I have on a neutral shoe and it's just a good outfit that you could wear to work. You could wear it to a dinner. I think it's a little businessy looking. Matter of fact, I feel so professional, but I know I have a lot of subscribers that are attorneys, teachers, professors, you work in an office, your accountants, your, you know, all of these things that I think this outfit would really work. Now, if you wanted to, you could even belt this and put it with some really cool, funky heels. And I also think that would look good. It's just a great layering piece. It kind of reminds me of Kim Kardashian for some reason, like when she would wear the long, more fitted knit dresses. I love it. Okay, my favorite outfit is this one. This, it is just gorgeous in every way. Look at this design. It's got these little, I guess they're almost like a little sequin and a bead. It reminds me of like constellations. So here is the top. It is adjustable, it's a little cami. If you feel more comfortable wearing something over this, you could, but it was, it was very easy to wear. And then it goes with this long, flowy skirt that is gorgeous. And when you put the two of these together, it is just so pretty, so classy. Before I put a blazer over this, I might even put like a really cool cardigan, something with a totally different weight and texture. But what I noticed is when I ordered this, I was thinking it was going to be a really dressy outfit, and it can be. You could put your strappy sandals on with this. But I also felt good in just a flat sandal. Like the Sam Edelman sandals would look pretty. Like think about a black, strappy sandal with this, 
or just, I wouldn't do nude unless it was very, very nude. I could do my Zara transparent heels with this, but I just, or the Walmart black tiki inspired sandals would look pretty with it. I was just pretty impressed with how good it looked with both types of shoes and how it looked so good either left out, like if you are someone who wants to leave your shirt tail out or tucked in. I preferred it tucked in. I think it just looked so chic and I love a set. It just lengthens you, it makes you look more stylish and it's easy. That is something, if you have a lot of sets and dresses, jumpsuits, it makes it really, really easy to get dressed. Then yesterday I wore this little number. When I first put it on, I was a little unsure that it was gonna be able to fit me because here again, I probably should have gotten a small, but it is a thick, thick knit. So once I put it on and I adjusted it, it fit perfectly, it did not move. I wore it all over. I went and took some pictures of it. I went and got some stuff from my parents. I did ran some errands and I loved it. I love, once again, all of these neutral tones. I love the length. This one is not quite as long as the first one. So you can wear a heel or you could wear your flip flops. I really want to get some pretty flat, maybe half an inch or one inch heels, strappy sandals to wear with dresses like this, just to do something different. But here again, it's that same brand and it's everything I've gotten from this line has been really, really nice. And this color, even though sometimes I stay away from like tan colors because it's kind of like a butterscotchy looking tan, I think it was very, very flattering. Then this was the wild card, but I keep seeing these really cool bustier tops and I wanted to try this one and I will say it is it goes above and beyond any other one I have tried. I've had the black ones. I've gotten several from Cos, from Zara, several other places, but none have had what this one has. This one has a built-in bra. So you put it on, I mean, look at that, with the little boning and everything, the full bra, and I did get a small. Could I have worn the medium? Probably not, because I think with this, it has to really fit, and it didn't give me double boob or bubble boob or anything. It really fit nicely. And so from now on in this line, I probably will order smalls, but everything I got, I think works. And so you unzip this, and then you have like the little bra part that you put on, and then you have the rest of it. And did I have to, I can't remember if I had someone help me put this on. I think I did. I think I put the first part on and Brooke helped zip me up, my daughter. But I love it. It's a really cool look. It's part of that whole surplus cargo vibe. And I immediately thought of my rag and bone jeans, the ones that are really flowy. They don't even, they feel like pants, but yet they're, you know, shaped like jeans and I thought it was a really cool outfit. So this is, this is a special item. This was extraordinary. Okay, and then this one. This reminds me so much of something I would have worn like in junior high or high school. I always loved little knit sweaters and stuff like that, and then I would wear little tank tops underneath it. This here again is a dress, full length. I would say the buttons are silver, has the little pockets, this one is another one that looks really good with flat sandals, but also looks good with our wedges. I am kind of on a sandal mission. I want to find us some good wedges that I feel stable in walking, none that are too thin. Like you have to make sure they're not too chunky and clunky, but they can't be too thin or else they're wobbly. So I am on the hunt for some good wedge sandals. You know, I love the Valentinos, and some good sandals, like flat sandals that aren't too chunky or clunky. 
<laughs> that is what you need with this, but I think it is so pretty. Anytime you have all of those details, it's just gonna make an outfit special. I love a dress here again. It makes it easy to get dressed, one and done. I live at the beach and a lot of times this is good to wear like over your bathing suit if you're gonna go to the beach after you go somewhere, like run some errands, or if you're going somewhere after. Like a lot of places, you can just pull right up with your boat. You could put something like this on over it or on vacation. That is, that's the true fantasy is getting a bunch of different dresses, going out by the pool, and then going to eat with your bathing suit on and putting a pretty dress over it. I love that idea. So I think that is another good one. And that is it. So I'm gonna wear these sunglasses that I showed you a few weeks ago from Cause. They're the Linda Ferro collaboration. They were sold out. I will look and let you know down below. And my lip combo today is Natasha Denona Julia Lip Liner. The lipstick is Pat McGrath and Skin Sane. <laughs> and then I have the tart rose or pink shimmer over that. I wanted kind of like a pinky brown color just to bring out a little bit of color in this outfit. And then these are the earrings from Zara. And that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.